This is my Fluval Spec V uh, Reef. I've had it for about a month with actual critters in it. Um, so, just give you a rundown of what's in it. So, got a pulsing Xenia frag in the bottom left. Um, got a neon green, two neon green um, toadstools. One's got the green button polyps around it. And then I've got a little Zoa garden right down here. I'm hoping will grow more um, and you can see my photo bombers here I've got a black ice snowflake uh, cross oscillaris and then just a regular oscillaris the little guy uh, and you come over here I just got these guys today um, and they actually opened up really fast I'm kind of impressed they look good um, and those are Duncans by the way <laughs> um, and I've got a Recordia down here, and then uh, candy canes, and they are not doing great. I'm not sure what's going on with those guys. I don't know if I just got to, if I'm killing them or what I'm doing, but feedback would be appreciated. Um, and you come over here, I've got a neon green hammer uh, with purple fronds, <laughs> I guess you could say. And then this little guy. Uh, he's not really open yet, but if you can see him, um, the arms on the tentacles are like a light kind of ice blue with neon green tips. It's a really, really pretty hammer. Um, so I got a little piece of that at, at my uh, LFS. And then I got a couple of these little brain looking guys down here, which I don't know what they're called, but yeah, they're cool looking, bright colors. And then I've got some um, Astria and Sarath snails, and I've also got a few hermit crabs for my cleanup crew, which all of them at this point seem to be hiding. So, yeah, this is my tank. Um, you can pan all the way out. Here's the full tank. Um, you can see what I've got going. Oh, yeah, over here, my filter section. So on the very bottom, I've got uh, Purigen, then I've got Chemipure Elite uh, to take care of some of the phosphorus, stuff like that. And then I've got a bag of um, just little ceramic pegs and then foam for the top layer uh, for mechanical. And then you can kind of see there in the background, there's a pump and a tube. I got one of those Finex uh, Fuges with a light. So I've got ceramic rings on one chamber here, on the return chamber, so everything flows through those. Um, and then on the main chamber, I've got uh, some live sand, uh, Cheeto, and a little bit of rubble in there as well. Just some general good stuff for a little extra biofilter. And it came with, uh, it shipped with the light and everything. Got the whole thing on Amazon, it was 45 bucks for the light, the box, and the pump. Uh, it was a pretty good deal. Uh, I've got, for light in the main tank, uh, it's an Orbit Marine uh, Pro, the 18 to 24 inch. Yeah, there's the little controller guy for it. I've got a Hydor small, Smart Level for my ATO, and then I just picked up a WP-10 Wave Maker uh, with a controller, again on Amazon, I got it for 45 bucks, it was a killer deal. Um, so here's a little controller for this guy, and I've got it turned all the way down on the wave setting, and it does a really nice job. And this mutant little box is something I actually rigged up um, that's plugged in to my ATO and it's basically a mechanical two-way switch so if I have it flipped to the right it has a pump that's tied into my um, roadie bucket so it'll top off with roadie water and then if you flip the switch to the left it's hooked up to a pump with salt water so when I do water changes all I have to do is flip the switch, drain the water, and the ATO will uh, 
automatically fill it up with salt and then the rest of the time it's on roading and it just tops off when it needs to. Um, so I have these little white Home Depot buckets and I got these things called gamma lids that you screw onto, a, you can snap onto any bucket like the orange Home Depot buckets where these, I got these at Lowe's. Um, but the gamma lid, you snap a rim down on top of the regular bucket, and then it's got a thread on top, which the little crossbar, as you can see, um, that it's watertight. And so I put roadie in one, salt in the other with the pump, and then just run tubing up to my tanks, and it serves as nice little reservoirs with ATO or for, you know, adding salt and stuff like that when I do a water change. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's my general setup. Leave comments. Thanks.